everyone, welcome back to Alicia Rachel XX and today's video is going to be a perfect gerbil diet. I have been trying my best to make a really good diet for you guys because I think gerbil diets are kind of not noticed and lots of people don't really feed their gerbils great food. So I wanted to share what I do and I definitely think it's full of fabulous foods and healthy nutrition and things like that. So let's get on with it. I just want to begin by saying I purchased my bowl from Pets at Home for £6.50 and it was in the reptile section if you want to grab hold of that and the measuring cups that you will be seeing throughout the video, I use the smaller ones, come in a set of this and this in three different colours, that being turquoise, pink and this purpley bluey colour and they were from Poundland so if you want to grab these obviously you know where to the get first them. thing I add is a basic so gerbil here is mix. the food I use it's the pets at home gerbil muesli this is the basic uh, diet of my gerbils I find it's got lots of good ingredients and yes it does have quite a few fillers but it's brilliant if you can't get rid hold of this for some reason for example you're American then you can't go to a pets at home then I advise the Jerry Gerbil Don't forget Complete to give this video a great this big thumbs up if you want to see an analysis and comparison video of these I to keep foods. my like, food in a jar and it's a nice big one. I keep most of my foods in jars actually because it keeps them nice and fresh and makes sure no little insecty things get near it. So I want to tell you that this is per gerbil so that if you need to double it up I've made it super easy and you can just go ahead and double the values up or triple the values up depending on how many gerbils you have. So per gerbil I give 7.5 millilitres of their basic mix. Next up I give some Trill Mix, bit of a weird one I know you're probably thinking Alicia that's budgie food not gerbil food but this stuff is great it has lots of really good facts about it if you'd like to read the ingredients just go ahead and pause so now. So I usually add 0.6 millilitres that being the smallest spoon on my scale and this just adds a bit of, you know, difference for your gerbil, a bit of grains, and it's definitely Next up just is a fabulous. real showstopper, and this is a soup and broth mix. You can find this in most, like, lentil aisles, that sounds weird, but if you go down the place where they sell pulses and things like that, then you'll probably find things like this. It can be known as soup and broth mix, soup mix, country soup mix, broth mix, things like that. But in it, con it contains, for just fine for you, there you go, the ingredients, and if you want to pause that and read those so you know what ingredients should be in the one you're buying. And once again, this is really cheap, you know, most of the things on this list are because they're quite natural, so they don't cost loads. I choose to put in 1.3 millilitres, which is my second spoon on here, and I definitely find this is a great amount, and it's actually quite nice big pieces, so they're great for grinding down constantly growing teeth which gerbils do have. Next up is oats. I keep mine in a little jar, quite sweet, and I'm just going to fire some facts at you on why I definitely advise adding oats. First of all, they're not fattening at all, and they also control um, a pet's appetite, so your pet won't constantly want to snack on those naughty treats that you choose to give them. They're low in sugar and they are very natural. They're also a great source of iron, magnesium and B vitamins. And iron is part of a cell um, known as the protein called haemoglobin. And this carries oxygen from your lungs to your heart to, you know, everywhere. So without it, you actually get an um, anemia. Yeah, you actually get anemia and you can actually get this in gerbils. So you definitely need to make sure you get your I iron choose to in add 0.6 millilitres of oats. And I'm sorry about the clacking of the spoons. There's nothing I can do to stop that. But you don't need much magnesium in a diet because despite it helping the structure of bones and things like that, you just do not need much. So a little bit goes a great a one is way. linseed. Linseed is also known as flaxseed and you can buy it in a brown or a gold version either way it doesn't matter choose whichever one you wish they're both the same and these contain a lot of omega-3 which are fatty acids needed in the body but not actually produced and this is the same with gerbils as well as humans so you do need them and that's why they're great omega-3 was also tested on lab gerbils which i do not agree with but it improves memory, learning, and generally more perky. So it does definitely have benefits. 
It's also high in fiber, helping everything just move down and the digestive tract and everything move along nicely. I advise personally adding about four milliliters of linseed, so just a little bit less than the 0 0.6. I think I choose spoon. to add is mealworms. I add um, dried ones, and this is where you can really vary the diet. Um, if you don't like mealworms or you just fancy a bit of a change, then you can actually add in things like a little bit of chicken, as long as it's not been seasoned or spiced or anything like that. Um, you can also add in boiled egg. You can just change it round. And the great thing about mealworms is they're high in protein and they would eat bugs in the wild, so they're fabulous. You can also give live ones if you wish. Great source of fresh protein, but of course, most people will just buy dried ones which are for birds. And now for the well. final thing I add, and this is goji berries. Goji berries can be bought from most health food shops and they're just brilliant. They're a lot of variety and it's just a dried fruit basically. So they're just fabulous and they've got lots of benefits. They're a superfood for humans. I think they're high in iron and things like that. They're definitely great and I just add one in because you don't need loads. They are also high in sugar so you may wish to you know, put every one every other time you feed them. But this gerbil diet should you. last about one to two days um, per gerbil. So once again, double it up if you have two, triple it if you have three, and so on and so, so on. If your gerbil doesn't eat it all within two days, don't be concerned. Maybe if you have loads of treats in the cage, remove them to make sure they're eating their food, but do not take it out and change it until they've eaten it all, unless they leave just these little black pieces or the little kind of white looking pieces like this and these are fillers and they're just the rubbish which pet shops put in and they're just pure poop basically not literally they're just like alfalfa and um shells of things and what have you like you know the hull hull of seeds so don't be worried if they're not eating them but if they are leaving things like goji berries and mealworms don't change it until they've eaten them because that's introducing fussy eating which you do not want because if they're becoming fussy then they'll just know that if they don't eat the bits they don't like or maybe the less healthy pieces they're just going to refill it anyway so they'll just keep on you know king through their food. I enjoyed seeing this perfect gerbil diet I definitely think it's really healthy full of great foods and I also forgot to mention when picking a bowl please choose one that's nice and wide and ceramic or um Metal, don't really choose glass, it's easy to smash, but at least it isn't chewable. And do not choose plastic, as plastic is just so easy for gerbils to chew and ingest, um, you'll end up with a hefty vet bill. So you're best to go with a nice ceramic So that was bowl. everything for a perfect gerbil diet. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!